What's up YouTube? PJ back with another video for y'all and I feel like I start these videos off the same way which is kind of like deja vu but we have another video today and I'm finally gonna be getting a little bit of action for y'all in the videos but uh I need to explain one thing to y'all I have all this stuff off because I was trying to check on my exhaust because my exhaust tends to make this like rattle sound a little bit and I think that's because of the gaskets that I have so I ordered all new gaskets for the exhaust and I'll be changing that out soon about my wheel and tire and lug situation you see I have these new lugs well the lugs that I ordered they're not the same as the ones on the back if you look close enough I'm starting to mess up my wheels by trying to get these on and off because look look at this I have to use a socket to get this thing off and that's no good because the socket is too big to fit up in these little holes right here that I have so I'm about to get these off of here I ordered new lugs and they actually just came in and these are similar to the ones that I had on there so they're gonna use like a little key just like this but I have the Muteki little short open faced lugs now and they're super tuner or something like that and like I said they come with a little key so I'm about to go ahead and try to throw these on the car and hopefully they fit snug. And one other thing that I noticed is if you look back here where the wheel weights are, I think some of the weights came off. I'm not sure, but my steering wheel does tend to shake a little bit when I'm driving. And I think that's because the wheels are now not balanced. But I have my jack out here already. I'm about to jack the car up. Get these lugs off, put these lugs on, and then take it for a spin. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Right now, it's a mixture between I'm starving and I just want to drive my car. And a lot of y'all have been asking me about my exhaust setup. And a lot of y'all have been asking me about how my shifter is holding up for me. So this is a perfect time to get some POV video of me driving the car because I feel like it and I feel like y'all would like to see it. Oh yeah, and these tail lights, once again, they are not as dark as I wanted them to be. So one day I might end up changing that out, but not anytime soon. The shifter, it looks good. It's just so little, like, I don't know, it's little. I wish it was a bit fatter, a little bit fatter. This, I don't know, it feels good when I'm shifting though. I still, I don't know how I feel about this though. The rebound, I don't know how I feel about that. It'll work, it'll work for now. I wish I could put some weights on here. I need to get probably another shift knob. I know I just bought this one, but I think I want a heavier shift knob, like just a heavier shift knob. And I think I might go with a billet works one. DND, this is very good quality. It's just, I don't know if it's heavy enough for me. But let's get on with this POV drive, fellas. I just realized I had the radio playing the whole time I was talking about my shift knob and the shifter and whatnot. And I just turned it off. So if that last part is muted because of it, I'm sorry about that. All right. Safety first, so we putting our seatbelts on, fellas. And we do not like traction control or stability control because we can drive. All right, backing up. Before I get on the road, I just want to go ahead and tell y'all about my exhaust. I pretty much have a full exhaust with the mufflers chopped off for the headers. Oh, look, the happy birthday, Kailani. Happy birthday to you, my neighbors, my new neighbors. But uh, I pretty much have a full exhaust. I have J2 headers. I have the stock down pipes and CNT test pipes, CNT cat back with the mufflers chopped off. We're gonna enhance the sound a little bit. I'm not gonna put them all the way down, but. My exhaust is 
exhaust is rattling a little bit. Ugh, I don't like that. I think it's the gaskets. And by the way, that's not full throttle. But look at my steering wheel. Look at this. Can y'all tell in the video? I don't know if you can or not, but it's shaking a little bit. And like I said, I think that's because of my wheel weights. They're falling off or they have fell off. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna get that fixed before I go to scraping the coast. By the way, I am going to scraping the coast again. For those of y'all who will be out there, uh, if you see me, see my car, you can honk at me, you can say what's up, I will speak back. Try to talk to me about certain things and I'll talk with you back. I'm just a normal guy with a YouTube channel. <laughs> Don't let that try to steal y'all away or anything because I'm pretty humble for the most part. And then like, it isn't like I have this huge following and feel like y'all are such a drag. Y'all all feel like my family, feel like people I can talk to whenever I don't have anybody to talk to. And I appreciate that about y'all. <laughs> Cracks and pops and hips and dips and everything. shifters probably do have so just keep that in mind whenever you're trying to buy this shifter that it is or it may be a little bit more noisy than the other shifters uh, around a little bit more I know, a little bit more price and just keep that in mind but man as far as me having the car for about a year now I like it I like it y'all 2.0 boys y'all been giving me a little bit of trouble because I got a 3.8 and then I blew my 3.8 and went back with another 3.8 and uh I actually don't really care I love the car I love the motor and I wouldn't put anything else in this car of course y'all with the swap motors y'all have some bad <laughs> cars I'm not even gonna lie to y'all but I just can't get myself around to swap a motor into a car other than the 240z or 280z one of those putting the RB26 into it because I would just love to do that. But let me quit talking right now and just show y'all how the car drives and let y'all listen to it a little bit. Nice BMW though. Look at this guy. I've been talking to Curtis at Alpha Speed Golf in Biloxi or Gulf Shores. And I've been planning on getting tuned by him for a while now, but since Scraping the Coast is coming up and I will be spending quite a bit of money with that, my tune session with him will have to be postponed because he's getting shipped off for a uh, what is it called? I forgot, whenever you're in a service and they ship you off, why did my mind just go so blank? <laughs> I don't know, y'all probably gonna grill me in the comment section, but he's getting shipped off for that. And uh, he won't be back until next year, so, hey, I cannot 
get a custom tune until February. Around February, I believe. So, uh, dang, I won't be getting tuned for that. So, which means my modifications will have to be slowed down as far as performance wise but i can still work on the suspension and how the car looks interior and exterior to better fit my personality it's been a while since i've been to sonic to be honest with y'all i used to come a lot on the vlogs well not a lot but you know from time to time do y'all remember my order i used to make thank you to sonic for coming help hey can i get the medium uh honey barbecue popcorn chicken meal or combo with tater tots and a route 44 slush with no flavor that's it all right it'll be 802 thank you have a good day thank you too y'all probably weren't seeing that coming but i promise y'all you need to try the slush with no flavor it's just the slush ice and it has like its own flavor if you think about it it's pretty good if you ask me and also don't be looking at my wallet but uh remember to tip the car hop so you had a number 12 um medium honey barbecue popcorn chicken with tater tots and a raw 44 slush mm -hmm. you told us 802 all right y'all i'm gonna be back with y'all whenever i'm finished eating oh yeah don't forget try this slush with no flavor 328 a.m. All right, so I'm finally back on my way home. I actually went to St. Francisville to my grandmother's house and just chilled up there with them, with uh, my cousins and the family, and just had a good time up there. I know during this time of quarantine, or what's left of the quarantine, we still should be careful about hanging around like our grandparents and things, washing your hands, not staying around them too long and all of that. But it's been a while since I went to see them, and I was taking those precautions, not being all up in their face and things, and trying not to touch everything to, you know, take care of them and whatnot. What are they doing? Playing football in the parking lot. I'm actually almost back home now, and I just wanted to give a, a quick recap of what today's video is about. It was actually supposed to be about my review of this shifter, the unique performance shifter I have. And like I said, I like it for the most part, but there are some flaws with it. It does have like a little rattle to it. And that's probably the worst thing about it. But as far as the throws, I do love it. Along with this shift knob, I could have a weighted shift knob, but I don't. So I just gotta, I'm just gonna have to deal with that until I get another one. And as for the interior, I do believe the last thing I'm gonna buy is another steering wheel. I have my eyes set on one that I am in love with, to be honest. And the inside of my car is gonna be changing very soon, if not the next video after this one. Um, probably the next few videos. And I actually, I'm pretty stoked to see how that turns out. But this is just about gonna wrap up today's video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below, let me know your ideas of what I should do with the interior, even though I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna do with it. But I still like to see y'all's opinions and things on that. Share this video with anybody who was looking to get this shifter or a similar shifter, just to see my opinions on these and just to have another opinion on the shifter for anyone that wants to buy it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and I'll catch y'all in the next video. But always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.